So when the German Angela Merkel gave orders to Zuckerberg to shut Americans up, when Merkel gave orders to Zuckerberg to step on the American Constitution, the First Amendment, did Angela Merkel really think this through? Did she really think before she opened her big goddamn mouth? And did Zuckerberg think before he gave his compliance to a foreign power? I don't think they were thinking clearly. Let me get this straight. Not even Congress, no less, not even Congress can prohibit Americans from the free exercise of their freedom of speech. The freedom of the press. Do I need to remind everybody again that not even Congress, and Congress was supposed to be a pretty powerful entity, I do not believe they are anymore. I believe that Congress is controlled by a foreign power. But in our true American standards, by our founding fathers who founded this country, they, gave, they, they did not even give Congress the right to prohibit our free speech, the freedom of speech. And, do, and does Mark Zuckerberg and the United Nations, and Angela Merkel, do they truly believe that they're going to be able to step on our First Amendment rights while Congress is asleep? That's what we're going to be talking about today. As Congress sleeps, is Mark Zuckerberg going to be able to get away with destroying Americans, destroying our rights? Let's go on and talk about this further because I believe it's a very important maybe one of the most important issues at hand for us Americans. So what gives Angela Merkel, what gives Mark Zuckerberg the right to step on our First Amendment? What gives Mark Zuckerberg the right to delete the words of Americans? And why is Congress asleep? Well, I'll tell you why Congress is asleep. Because they wear NASCAR jackets. And on their NASCAR jackets are patches of billionaire donors. See, I've always said that Congress should wear jackets, just like the NASCAR race drivers. See, when you look at those NASCAR race drivers, their billionaire sponsors are plastered all over the jackets. That's the problem with Congress today. They sleep behind their desk while our First Amendments are being pummeled. And they don't tell us who, are, who their billionaire owners are. So what we have to do as America, we have to expose. We have to expose Congress for the billionaires who are controlling them. Probably most of those billionaires are in a foreign country. And the Congress people are scared to speak up because if they do speak out, they'll never be elected because the media will pummel them. And that's where we are in America today. We're in a spot where our founding fathers gave Congress the power to give us free speech. Our founding fathers gave us rights. And now they're being trampled on by people like Mark Zuckerberg, Angela Merkel, who in the hell do these people think they are? Yes, I'm finally speaking out, and I'm telling you that if Angela Merkel and Mark Zuckerberg think they're going to be able to kill our First Amendment easily, well, they've got a whole new ball game in front of them. They don't even understand the game they're in. They sit behind their castle in Europe, they sit behind their castle in California, wherever Zuckerberg lives, and they have million-dollar security, but they don't know what game they've gotten into. When you try to step on 300 million people, did you think that was going to be easy, Mark? Angela, you got your own problems in Germany, Angela Merkel. Did you think it was going to be easy to put your little tiny German foot on American people? 
I hope you're listening, Angela Merkel. I hope you're listening, Mark Zuckerberg, because the words I'm telling you should alarm you. You are not going to step on Americans' First Amendments. If you think you're going to get away with it, well, you better think again. Stay tuned, because I'm not going to be quiet. Stay tuned, because the collapse of this system is happening quickly. We don't have anybody in the CIA who's going to back up Americans. We don't have anybody in the police state who want to back up Americans anymore. They're scared to lose their pensions. They're scared to lose their job. So we don't have anybody there to protect us in government alphabet soups. No. They'll try to, they'll try to shut us up. I don't believe it's going to work. Stay tuned, because this is happening very quickly.